In today's short video, I'm going to attempt to do the impossible. I'm going to try to explain what Weibull analysis is in five minutes or less. So I hope you enjoy the video. Um, for those, hopefully there's a lot of people who are really not that familiar with Weibull analysis and just want to kind of get to know what it is, uh, this is a perfect video for you. Um, it's certainly not going to teach you everything you need to know about Weibull analysis, but it might give you enough of an appreciation for it that you want to go ahead and learn more. So hope you enjoy the video. Um, if you need more information, check us out at Prelicle.com. Thanks. So the first thing we need to do when we want to do a Bible analysis is we need to determine what our TTF or time to failures are. So we start with the installation date all the way through the current date. And in between, we have failures. So the time or the interval in between those failures is what we call the time to failure. So in this case, we have 20 days, 170 days, 220 days, and 190 days. So those are our time to failures. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a distribution analysis or Weibull distribution to be able to determine what is the frequency of failure and what is the pattern of failure. Hmm, this looks really complicated, but don't worry. I've got an Excel spreadsheet I'm going to give you at the end of this video. That'll make it super easy, so you don't have to be a statistician or a mathematician. All you got to do is plug in a few numbers, and boom, you'll get the results. So one of the outputs of a Weibull analysis is the beta value or the shape factor. This is going to indicate our failure pattern, as well as the slope of the probability plot. Now a great way to see this is to see it on the reliability bathtub curve. So for instance, if we have a beta value of less than one, that means we're having an early life failure, meaning it could be an installation issue, it could be a defective part, but for whatever reason, it's failing very quickly after we install or start the part or start the component. If we get a beta value equal to one, that would indicate that we're having random failures. Random meaning it could happen today, tomorrow, six months from now, or 10 years from now. Time is really not a factor. And finally, if our beta value is greater than one, we're having wear out failures, meaning we get some sort of life and then the component or the equipment begins to deteriorate over time. The second output of a Weibull analysis is the eta value or the characteristic life. This indicates the expected life, the point where 63.2% of the population has failed. It's a little bit better indicator of mean time between failure, as mean time between failure is just a straight average, where using a Weibull analysis, you get a much closer estimate of what the actual expected life is. So getting back to our example, we had a TTF value of 120 days, 170 days, 220, and 190. Now when we run that through the Weibull analysis, we end up with Although there's many plots, one of them is the cumulative distribution function. So where you have time on the x-axis and probability of failure on the y-axis, you can kind of see the, how the distribution works. So if you came over to say 200 days, you would see that you had a probability of failure of right around 70%. One of the great things about a Weibull analysis is it allows us to look into the future and determine what the probability of failure is based on previous performance. So let's say, for example, we've got a pump and it's been running for 30 days and the boss wants to know, will it make it another 120 days before we have our next outage? And if we run the math, it shows that there's a 31.22% chance of having a failure between now and 120 days from now, considering the fact that we've already run for 30 days. Hey, thanks for watching. And as promised, if you check out our website at prelicle.com forward slash resources, you can find that Excel Weibull tool I mentioned earlier in the video.